Good evening, fellow bike lovers and gravel grinders. My name is Bart. I'm from the Netherlands and I just got my hands on this beautiful looking Van Nicolas Rotec gravel bike, adventure bike, bike packing rig, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't she look stunning? I'm going to quickly run you through why I got this bike, um, what I want to do with it which setup I chose and why I did so. First of all, I want to point out that I am a cycling enthusiast. I do some 10,000 miles per year, which is over 16,000 kilometers. I do long adventures such as the Great Divide mountain bike routes. I cycled across Eurasia. I've cycled in many countries. I will go to New Zealand at the end of this year and probably I will take this bike on that trip. Now, let's start with the bike itself. The frame is made by Van Nicolas and Van Nicolas, they are a Dutch company located in Heerenveen. They specialize in titanium frame sets. This is their 57 centimeters uh, Rotec Adventure Gravel frame. I am 178 centimeters, a bit under six feet. Um, so for me, this size was great, albeit with a somewhat shorter stem. Important to point out is that I chose the 650B option. I have many bikes. I have ridden many bikes. I have ridden for many years. I've had alloy. I've had steel. I've had carbon, but I've never had titanium. And all these bikes are 700C. And I've been riding 700C for over a decade. But last year when I did the Great Divide mountain bike route, my bike... I had did not have enough tire clearance unless I went 650B, which I did. And I was so amazed by it that I honestly feel that for gravel and adventure riding, there is a tangible benefit to 650B. Okay, the frame set. This frame set is of titanium, of course, as mentioned, but it offers many bolts for attaching stuff. Um, the fork is of carbon, but it also has these mounts to attach bottle cages or little racks. What I like about Van Nicolas is how they pay detail. They pay they they um, pay attention to the details. I have these uh, uh, titanium seat post seat post clamp spacers, but even the bottle cages and the bottle cage mounts. I mean, they are just so nice. It's just one beautiful color palette. Um, also on the back, we have ample mounting options for whatever you want to do with it. Um, the tires and the wheels. This is a 650B setup from DT Swiss. It's their 1800s R uh, gravel wheel set with a 25 millimeter internal rim width. At the front, I have a 2.1 inch Schwalbe uh, G bite. It's not the most aggressive version they have, but I do have ample clearance. Um, I would say this is the max you can put, but this is 2.1 inch. So that's far from bad. In the back, I have a Japanese Paneracer Gravel King SK 1.8 inch. I still had this tire laying, so I wanted to ride it first. But I'm pretty confident that two inch would definitely work. Maybe the camera angle isn't that good, but I had more than six millimeters of space around the tire. So that's a safe clearance. Apart from that, the drivetrain I'm using is a uh, GRX 810 2x11 with the 4831 up front and the 1134 cassette in the rear, which will give you an ample lower gear and with 4811 you'll be fast on the roads as well. I also like the fact that with this bottle cage right here, there is enough clearance between the bottle cage and the crank set. My previous bike, the Specialized Sequoia, had an issue right here. It normally had a spot for this bottle cage, but I just couldn't fit it in. Then we move on to the cockpit. So these are the GRX shifters and brakes. And I have here a 44, centimeter wide bar with a slight flare for the gravel. Um, I do need to add my frame back and my top tube back 
and potentially a seat post back. Um, I will add these later, but for now, this is the basic setup. I have to say that I'm amazed by the weight. I had done my homework and I know that titanium will not be as light as carbon, but it's a lot lighter than steel. Considering its strength, that is actually quite impressive because we are using this bike on bikepacking and graveling and not on performance road riding KOM things. Um, but it's still quite light. I mean, if I would pick it up with one hand, it's really not too tough. I mean, it could be heavier. I'm guessing it's going to be around 10 kilos, maybe even a tad less, but definitely not up to 14, 15 kilos as you get in an aluminium bike or a steel bike. Um, and I should add that I do have wide tires on here, which do contribute to that weight. Um, so, yep, all pretty decent. I'm going to finish off this video by some details. I have 160 rotors for better stopping power. I have the traditional SPD pedals. Um, what else should I point out? Oh, I do like their true axle setup. This is a true axle where you do not need an Allen key. Um, this is a nice system. It's a bit different from the standard bolt you get on most bikes, but it's nice. It's nice to work with. So there you have it in a nutshell. This is my Van Nicolas Rotac size 57 with the 650B option and the GRX 810 group set. I will be doing many rides with this bike during the season, but I will spend almost two months in New Zealand at the end of this year with this bike. So stay tuned to this channel to see more about what this incredible setup can do. Stay posted. Thanks for watching. Peace out.